all citizens of this government are subjects to another's jurisdiction and are contractual white negroes or property of the state wherein they reside regardless of your color Lastly, our research has found it was alleged in June 1776 a committee of three persons Robert Morris, Colonel George Ross and Washington seemed to have distinct idea of what he wanted in the design of a new flag of the United States. He, Washington, had already had a crude design of a flag with 13 six-pointed estoyal stars within alternating red and white stripes. At Mrs. Betsy Ross's suggestion the stars would be five-pointed. Her skill with needlework was to give birth to the very first stars and stripes. This story has had enormous popularity. Yet, there are facts that suggest that Betsy Ross may not have had anything to do with the flag, adopted June 14, 1777. The claims that Betsy Ross created the first American flag were made public in 1870 by one of her grandsons. However, there was never any record of the flag being discussed or of a committee being appointed for the design of the flag in either the journals of the Continental Congress, greater than United States in Congress assembled, or the diaries and writings of Washington. Meeting with Colonel Ross or Robert Morris on the subject cannot be documented. Here follows another historical lie. Nevertheless, the design was accepted and adopted by Congress on June 14, 1777. However, there is no historical evidence that a flag or the flag of the United States enacted June 14, 1777 by the United States in Congress assembled used or accepted a flag designed with 13 stars on it or any five-pointed stars at all. The official seal of the United States, 4 U.S.C.S., Chapter 2, Section 41. The seal heretofore used by the United States in Congress assembled is declared to be the seal of the United States. The previous quote is active and positive law today, 2004 and there is no such word as, great, mentioned above. Also the seal that was in use between 1782 and 1841 by, the United States in Congress assembled, and not, the Congress of the United States, of 1787 nor the, Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled, 1789-1841, is presently and lawfully the only official seal of the United States. Therefore, the family of nations of the United Nations, must ask the following questions. 1. What is the origin and proper name of the seal heretofore used by the United States in Congress assembled? It is stated in the Eagle and the Shield, E and Shish, pages 93-94. The Eagle, greater than Phoenix, Dragon, with a shield on its breast was not characteristic of English heraldry. The Eagle, greater than Dragon, Phoenix, and Shield device however, was a well-established convention of continental heraldry and had been for many centuries 29. Illustration 16 a Spanish textile fragment dating from the first half of the 12th century, 1100s, is included to show the antiquity of continental devices that developed into a modem heraldic eagle with a shield on its breast. The word continental is certainly indicating the continent of Europe, however, the oldest and noble royal heraldry consisting of an eagle, greater than phoenix, dragon or crest, cox eagle, and a shield found in Europe, i.e. 1. Britain, including what has now become known as England, 2. France, 3. Dutch, 4. Belgium, 5. Italy, 6. Poland, 7. Germany, 8. Holland, 9. Portugal, 10. Spain. This European, Indo-European, Indy or Moorish European, is found distinctly and clearly showing the head or beginning of the family coat of arms. There is a Maros, sable, black or Moorish complexion, coffee hue man, and for the most part as it pertains to the shields, they are virtually the types of shields that have been duplicated or replicated, with minor changes, found on the seal of the United States used by the United States in Congress assembled, USICA. As for the crest eagle phoenix, dragon and the six-pointed stars, there is no doubt that the phoenix eagle of the 1782 magnum seal of the United States is the source from whence the design and image was copied. The royal and noble names found on these coat of arms are Morrison, Morali, Morand, Morian, Morizi, Moreshi, Moretti, Saracen, Negro, Grafmeyer, Moore, etc. All of the preceding information and more can be located in the book entitled, Nature Knows No Color Line, by J. A. Rogers, pages 83-86. Furthermore, I have previously indicated above that the Moresh Moorish people have no recorded beginnings and that the Maro S people ruled the entire world for untold ages. The word continental comes from the Latin, org. Latimors. Word contineo or continentia and continuatio meaning, 
self-control or contained and uninterrupted or unbroken respectively, i.e., a self-contained unbroken succession without interruption. Therefore, the coded word of art, continental, can indicate the coat of arms that goes back at least 25,000 years when the pole star Draco fell from heaven and is destined to rise as the phoenix or Ba Crest Aquila, opposed to the American bald eagle. There is no such term as Continental Congress in law or official documentation as it pertains to our flag, seal or constitution. The Continental Congress, of which the Bays were the early presidents and governors of the pre-1772 and old United States of the Americas, is none other than the United States in Congress assembled or, and, the Congress of the United States, de jour opposed to de facto. The United States of America Republican, non-political party system, form of government, in the family of nations, is far older than the United States of America, democracy political party system, form of government, in the United Nations. What is the actual and lawful date, description of the 1762 seal of the United States? The description of the seal can be seen described in several books and works, however, we shall be drawing principally from, 1, the Great Seal of the United States, GSUS, by the U.S. Printing Office of, 1996 and, 2, the Eagle and the Shield. The nations of families of the United Nations should be advised that we, at this time, shall only be exploring certain aspects of the seal of the United States, specifically the obverse side and primarily the six-pointed stars and the crest eagle greater than Fen Chuang, Phoenician dragon. A picture of an actual, lawful and original obverse or coat of arms seal is displayed on P.8 of the GSUS and a description of its design from pages 4-8. The most striking and important features are that it has, 1, a phoenix's body, 2, dragon crest, 3, Moorish shield, Rothschild's greater than Rashid, and, 4, a six-pointed star made up of 13 smaller six-pointed stars. 1. The Phoenix Bird or Thunderbird is none other than a form of Kul Ku Khan, Quetzalcoatl and Maru greater than Moru, I, of the Olmecs, Aztecs, Mayans, Toltecs less than Zuni, Anasazi, Leni Lenape, Monacans, etc. of the ancient Americas. The word Phoenix is rooted in the word Phoenicians, Phoenicians and the term, Phoenician, comes from the old Moorish, zero. Mr. Word Muir therefore, Murex, Murex, Muras, Muresh, Mores, can mean purple, dye, or purple, royal people. The Phoenicians are none other than the Canaanite, or Khan Anu. The Phoenixian, greater than free, Phoeni greater than final equals Phineal, called themselves, A, more TW greater than Marat as a national name, i.e., and simply put, people of the Maumish Empire and, b, Canaanites, that is to say, from the land of milk and honey, or more correctly put, place of commerce. In other words, the Phoenicians' nationality was Moorish, being equivalent to preamble citizens of the United States and their geographical eastern country was, Kanaan. The word Q, K, Anna Anu being equivalent to calling ourselves Americans, even though there is no such country or nation as America. The biblical land of Canaan is not a literal location and the Hebrew word Kael Kana, Canaan actually means, to bend the knees, submit to God or bow down to Anu or priest of heaven and, merchants, those who buy and sale are occupied by commerce. In Kemet, Egypt their nationality was Tmry, Dimori or Tamari, the Moors, and they, ruled the geography or landmass called Kmt, Kemet, meaning, in part, place of praise, elevated land, raised up people or another, double place, territory of the pyramids, mounds. Little known to the general public, the Moors, a, first Americans, Aboriginal and b, the second Americans, Native Americans, or Indians, were once called Canaanites, i.e., the cursed seed of Canaan, by the zealous church theologians who tried to exterminate U.S. in order to regain the land between the 1600s 1790s. The old Americas and ancient Africa, not the present-day landmass called Africa, has always been the breadbasket of the world, the land of commerce greater than Emporos, or the land of Canaan. This esoteric connection between America, the marker XI and Cross or Christland, has a lot to do with and has been influenced by the ebb and flow of the ice ages of the past. Also when the Chesa prophet, Noble Drew Alley, initiated the divine and national movement of North America for the recovery of the Moors or citizens of the United States of America Republican form of government, in the family of nations, via the Our Free National Constitution of the United States of America. He did so by first establishing the Canaanite Temple in Newark, New Jersey or Camden, New Jersey. Our American prophet knew exactly what he was doing. 
The phoenix is a symbol of resurrection or revolution and an emblem for the Messiah or Christ. The words Messiah greater than MSH and Christ Karast are idioms for the Moorish legendary and biblical Moabites or the great and corrupted mummification civilization that issued out of a Fmorig, CA, over 100,000 years ago. These Moorish sons and daughters are the Mermen, Merlin and Menades, sirens of old. The Moabite Moorish, Moorish Empire is not the oldest Moorish, Moorish Empire as thought and taught by most Moorish nationals, who are nouns. The word Moab, I-T-E, comes from the Hebrew term M-W-A-B or semen patris, greater than father's sperm and modernly translated to Moab. However, M-W-A-B can also mean vizier or administrator, who originated from the waters or the sea. Water, sea can also represent the celestial dimension or space. 2. Draco or the Dragon Crest coat of arms is also a codified part of the Magna Seal Penix of 1782. The dragon is an icon for the Maori people according to the history of the ancient world. Like the phoenix's crest eagle it can survive in the fire or flames, in order to protect the treasures or to bring forth abundance and new life. This is equivalent to Jesus, Isu, Joshua or Lsa, pronounced and translated to Ein, Oin equals O, Osa or Oc equals Oc Ris, i.e., the resurrected sun, sun or fire god, symbolized by peacock, Ben Ben, Beni El, Peniel or Finiel greater than Finiel, entering into hell or the grave and setting the captives free. And the graves were open, and many bodies of the saints, greater than abundance and precious treasure which slept, arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many, Matt, 27 to 52 53. This of course is the legendary, first resurrection, that has nothing to do with the common folk or masses and everything to do with the 144,000 mentioned in the book of Revelations, Revolution. Draco in the Bible, 0, T, in one form, is, Seraphim, a, flying lizard, or reptile greater than serpent or, fiery serpent. The fiery serpent is called the, flying dragons, and is a divine administrator of God. In another biblical form they are called K, cherub I am or dragon and griffins close to God. The griffins are also depicted as serpents, i.e., brazen serpents. The term serpent in Hebrew is NHS greater than Nawash that comes from the Moorish, Mr., e.g. Nasu and means, divine, Sudanese, Satanu, Negro, Maros, watchers of copper and coffee complexion with the power to overcome one's own consciousness, to prognosticate, to learn be experience and to diligently observe. To know via of observance is science and high science to the public is termed, magic. The Moors were once called the Black Dragons of China, the serpents that St. Patrick ran out of Ireland and the dragon of British lore. Webster's Dictionary also defined them, the North American Moors, as predominantly Negro, some part Native American and a whit bit Caucasian. Webster's Dictionary also defines the term Moor as follows a member of a dark-skinned people of mixed Arab and Berber ancestry inhabiting ancient Mauritania and North Africa. Moroccan. Mormon. Black Amor. One of the groups of people of mixed Indian, white and Negro ancestry in central Delaware compare Nanticoke. As stated above the misnomer, Delaware Indians, were actually the Lenape, Lenap, Lenape or the Kinky or Spiro, Spira or Spirited Head Ones. William Penn describes the Lenape as, black as gypsies. The word gypsies, in law, is termed, Egyptian, which mod. Lat. Translated for the phrase, KMT or Chem et greater than or Chem i Cals or Alchemy or Elabim, God, Gen. One to one et seek, or black magic. Keep in mind all ancient sacred words and valid scriptural words have at least seven, seven different meanings or ways to translate or relate them. The present day Delaware Native Americans are not aware of their true ancestry greater than the first Americans and the indigenous Americans, even though they often refer to themselves as Lenny Lenape, who are the direct posterity of the Aboriginal Americans, they have disconnected and do disassociate themselves with the Moorish and Preamble citizens of the United States, and the traditional, Moorish nationals. If they do not, within a prescribed period of time, claim and respect their principal heritage, they will be setting up the conditions of being disinherited when the Phoenix Thunderbird rises. This additionally includes most of the so-called Native Americans. The Phoenix, Eons, is the resurrected ones and is the only one of its, their, kind and is a Greek griff symbol for Jesus, the only begotten son. 
Now let us explore John chapter 1 verse 18 and Hebrews chapter 11 verse 17. Heb, L117, by faith Abraham, offered up his only begotten son. On page 1738 of the Hebrew, Greek Key Study Bible, HB, GKs, B, of the King James Version, 1984, by Plus World Bible Publishers, Inc. states, the term monogenous, greater than only begotten, also occurs in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 17. The genos from which monogenous is derived means race, stock, family, and not single individual. John chapter 1 verse 18, no man hath seen God at any time, the a only b begotten c son hath declared him. The phrase only, mono begotten, genius son, huios is a biblical word of art and can be decoded from the following quotes taken from the Greek English lexicon of the New Testament, Greek English. Lexicon, 1925, by William F. Arndt, Pub. University of Chicago Press, pages 529, 153,155 and 840 respectively. Mono only means isolated, deserted or alone, and never single. Genes begotten means family, descent, clan, race, kind and generation, and those descended from a common ancestor greater than posterity and not virgin birth. C. Huio's son means a pupil, follower, or one who is a spiritual son, and the sons of the gods. Also in the Hebrew, Greek SP, pages 1763-64 the word son, huios is defined, in part, as, used metaphysically of prominent moral characteristics, legitimate offspring, descendant, irrespective of the gender. Huios gives evidence of the dignity of one's relationship and likeness to God's character. The Greek ten huios is taken from the O mister. Hebrew words bn, bnh, bny and, via gemara, gematria or abjd, abgd, i.e., the science of letters interchanging with other letters and numbers to expand or clarify words, phrases and scriptures, BYN. BNBYN means sons and daughters, as in, the sons of God saw the daughters of men, general 6 to 2 and not males. BN, Ben also means, builders, nations, anointed, stewards, appointed ones, and via numbers BN greater than BNU, that is, clear, manifested and plain proof, signs, demonstration and evidence. Therefore, the sons greater than BNY, huios of gods are those individuals and nations, people who are anointed or appointed as stewards of God and by their godlike characteristics, via service and sacrifice who demonstrate clear and evident proof while building the kingdom of heaven and the unity of man right here on earth in this lifetime.